myself Zeel Bhatt and welcome to my channel Zeel's Pharmacy Tutorial. And today we are going to study about structural activity relationship of parasympatholytic agents which is also known as anti-muscarinic agents or anticholinergic agents. So now let us study about the general structure of anticholinergic compounds. Anticholinergic compounds can be divided into four parts. First is the cationic head. Then the second is chain portion, then the third is A and B substituents, and the fourth is the C substituent. So now, let us start with the modifications in the cationic head. Quaternary ammonium compounds possess most potent anticholinergic activity. Tertiary amines also possess the antagonist activity, but they bind to the receptor in the protonated form. Methyl, ethyl, propyl or isopropyl groups are tolerated. Now, let us study the modifications in the chain. Ester group provides the most potent anticholinergic activity. The substituent may also be ether or amino alcohol but they are less potent than ester group. Substituent may sometimes be completely absent too in some compounds. And now, we will study about Cyclic substitution or A and B substitution. In the substitution, substituent could be cycloalkyl, aromatic ring or heterocyclic ring. Substituent of carbocyclic or heterocyclic ring gives maximal antagonist potency. In the substitution, one ring is aromatic and the other is saturated or possessing only one olefanic bond. In the substitution, the rings could be identical but the more potent compounds are found to have different ring substitution. And at the last, we will study about substitution at C or hydroxyl group substitution. At the C position, the substituent can be hydrogen atom or hydroxyl group or hydroxymethyl group. Antagonists with hydroxyl group or hydroxymethyl group are more potent. Thank you.